Hey there, Robert here, coming at you with a real simple tip on working with guides in Photoshop. Not really a tip, but an extension that you can use that's a little easier for you when working with guides. So, you know, usually when you work with guides, you have to go to View, New Guide, enter the position, so let's say 5%, click OK, and then you gotta go back to View, New Guide, let's say the next position is 95%, click OK and there we have the two new guides but I have five more guides to add so I have to go to back to view new guide five more times well you can be nice to yourself and create a shortcut key for this new guide button or you can use an extension called guide guide Photoshop grids that don't suck so hard now this is available for Photoshop CS4 and CS5 both Windows and Mac and it basically is just a tool to manage guides so once you install it, go to Window, Extensions, Guide Guide, and here you can adjust all kinds of settings to set up your guides. So you can adjust settings for both the columns and rows, you can say how many columns you want, how many rows you want, and even adjust the gutters for both columns and rows. So here I already have some guides set up. I want to quickly remove them. Well, you know, you can remove them the old way by just, you know, clicking and dragging them out of the window, or you can come down here and just clear all guides by clicking the clear button. So let's say I want to set up three columns, two rows, with a gutter of 5% each. Once I have that all set up, I can just click this GG button for guide guide. Click that, and here we have three columns with two rows and a 5% gutter on each. Let's say I like the position of all these guides and I need to save it for a future project. Well, you can save this as a new set in Guide Guide. So once you have all your guides positioned and set up exactly how you want it, come down here to the plus icon, create new guide. We can name this. I'm going to go ahead and name this 3 Column Rodeo. Click the little apply button down here. And in our sets tab, we now have this 3 Column Rodeo set that we can use. So, if I wanted to clear all the guides and use this three column grid, click guide guide. Here we have the three column grid. Clear that out. Let's go back to the three column rodeo and boom, we have the guides that we needed. If you need to edit this, you can always double click on the three column rodeo and change out the settings that you need to change. Click apply and then you can re-add it. We also have the settings tab where we can choose where to distribute the remaining pixels as well as update guide guide when you need to. We can go back to grid, we can delete these guides, and now let's say we want to find the midpoints of this document. Well, instead of going to the ruler and snapping to the midpoints, you can just come down here and quickly find the midpoints for the horizontal and vertical axis. Back to the sets, if you need to delete a certain set, you can just click on it once and hold down the clear button. That'll delete that particular set. So there you have it, guide guide for Photoshop a free extension that'll make guides a lot easier to work with. Do you use guides often? Have you used Guide Guide in the past? Let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to find out more information on Guide Guide, you can always visit the site post at robertsproductions.net. If you'd like to follow us, you can always follow us at Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus. All the links are in the description below. I hope this helped. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time.